social media has changed our way of life. It's become a full-time job. We didn't even realize we slipped into this rabbit hole until it was too late. Now we're all in it, and we're all trying to understand this new normal. For some, it's taken over their entire identity. What have we done to ourselves? Is there a way out? A happy ending? My name is Sergio Farias. Becoming part of the LA scene is something that I always did want since I was a little kid. I would go through magazines of like Vogue and I would watch The Hills and I'd be like, oh my God, wouldn't that be so cool to be going to those places? When people throw parties, they want like the best looking people. And I think that they know that I could deliver that. Nowadays, everyone wants to be Instagram famous and it's just like, it's a promotion. You're like trying to sell this like false lifestyle. I feel like there's something special about me and I feel like it should be shared with the world. It should be shared with the world. It should be shared. Shut the f up. Ugh. I hate this. Brought your coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, you look hot. Thanks. Did you just get back from a guy's house? No, but I look <laughs> like I did. You look like the morning after pill. <laughs> I'm so tired. I hate this. I hate the morning. The mornings are for like ugly people who have to like work. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> My persona on Instagram is who I am in real life. I'm a luxury item at a thrift store, I felt like. I'm gonna do a I woke up like this Snapchat. Hey guys, I woke up like this. Brutal. Hey guys, I woke up like this. What is your morning routine? I wake up, I look at my like text messages, and then I look at Snapchat, and then I look at like Daily Mail just to like see what everyone in the entertainment industry is doing. Shelly, it's open like Ashley's legs. Come mm. in. Hey, well, well, well. I would hug you, but you smell. We're making mimosas. Do you want one? Duh. Are I'm, you insane? I'm sorry. Do, would you rather drink out of this? <laughs> I think I'll just make you a new drink. My bad. Why do you guys get cute cups and I get that? Because you're an ugly bitch. Trash. What the? You're so good. Well, cheers, queers. Do you still want to go to Venice Beach and like walk around? I want to go, but I want more than Dude, this. What is this gonna do? Well, we can bring the whole bottle with us. Have a cup of tea. This ain't Vegas, but I'm sure we can get away with it. So, Steph. <laughs> Hello. Hello, darling. Hi, I'm Chloe Holmes. And together, me and Brandy are the Spirit Sisters. I don't post like boring photos. I don't think Brandy does either. No. It usually has to be an interesting subject. The idea is making fantasies become reality. I want to make sure that your eyes pay attention, like your eyes aren't burning. My so. face is starting to itch. Well, get used to it. Repopulate Mars is a party that we do with my boyfriend, Lee Foss. It's very futuristic alien themed. You'll go there and everyone's dressed up in robot, futuristic, cyborg, alien attire. And then we design the outfits. So it's always when you go like a whole kind of like art show. Have you seen Star Wars? That's kind of the vibe. There are lots of different parts to making those costumes. Lots of troubleshooting goes on. That's yeah, for sure. troubleshooting, solving the troubles, working from the troubles. We had a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction. What? Girls with really big boobs that has no give whatsoever on this mesh, and if it's too big, it's gonna rip. And then drama, titties that were popular at Mars. Let's do this.
I'm such a people's person. I always like to be surrounded like by people. Having people around me is like my security blanket. You know, I just want to say cheers to life. Some for me and some for my homies. Jesus Christ. You suck at taking pictures. I want a rematch. And you suck dick. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. You look so cute. I know. I got a text from Brandy and Chloe. Who are they? Um, they like want to meet you to come over and chill by the pool. Are you going? I don't know. It's either going down or it's not. Yeah. Hi guys, what's up? Hi. How are you? So what do you guys do? Um, I'm building a lifestyle brand right now. So like I'm collecting all like my photos, but I'm just in school for business. Yeah, so cool. you love it? Yeah, like I'll talk to like the least ghetto person. They'll come up to me and be like, <laughs> hey, what's your name? Do you have Snapchat? I'm like, yeah, I do. And like, we'll follow each other. So I'll have like one minion, like I'll like collect a minion. So bad. <laughs> yeah. But they'll be like, did you follow me on Instagram? I followed him like, mm-mm. You don't want to be caught following a minion? Mm-mm. Sergio is a character. He just needs to grow up a little <laughs> bit, and that's all it is. We do like a party that's like super futuristic and stuff. Oh, cool. When's that? The next one's next Saturday. You should come. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. But you have to dress up. You have to be like futuristic or alien vibes. Where do you find like alien stuff? Our biggest inspiration is Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot? Yeah. <laughs> what? I think the alien theme is desperate. Maybe if they were like, eight years old, like, I'd be like, oh my god, an alien party? We have to go, you guys. Stinko de Mayo. I can, like, put it in my braid. Yeah, that's tough. I don't like that smell, you guys. Yeah. It's incense. It's good for like your soul. Smell. Do you like sage? No, it stinks. OK, babe, now it really stinks. Incense mixed with whatever the f you sprayed on yourself. Oh my god, I'm going to get, like, brain cancer smelling that. I can't. He like has this like I don't give a f mentality. You can maybe not give a f or you have just a little bit more like respect for other people, whether you give a f or not. So why don't you guys? You guys gonna come to uh, repopulate Mars repopulate next Mars. Sunday? Yeah. You have to dress Babe, up. One hundred percent. You have to dress up, or you won't be allowed in. When I get involved and get invited, I like it's not my branding. So like for me, I, I don't personally like their theme at all. Sounds fun. Can we try Let's it? do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> In LA, people use their power to lure you in, and it's all a trick. At the end of the day, no one does shit for you. I get inspiration from a lot of things, like taking ideas that are completely like out of left field and like forming them into the idea that we have in our minds. You'll see what I'm talking about. I feel like there's something that I might not know about myself that I haven't discovered yet. I feel like I'm a girl trapped in a guy's body, so I kind of like feel like the women's vulnerability. Are you guys on your period? Are you on your period? <laughs> Why are we being mean? No, I'm just asking. I just have like this really like period feeling that we'll be <laughs> The Sergio brand is just always looking your best and having beautiful people around you, selling this like false lifestyle. Because I don't always just hang out with pretty people, you know, or what people may think. You know, I have like my normal friends. You know, I don't post pictures with them, but I have them. You will not picture unless it's with somebody pretty. I don't even know I'm gonna be like when we walk in, like, hey guys, hi. Like, I just... Do you know them? Like... I met them through mutual friends. Ellie and Chloe and Zoe who, they're gonna be like, who's that? Who's that hot guy with those two hot bitches? <laughs> so we're up to good luck. I'm 
excited because people dressed up this time. It's usually kind of hard to get random people to dress up, but I think because Repopulate Mars is becoming such a little movement, everyone's dressed up and it's really exciting to see that. More people are catching on, which makes me really happy. Like when people like step out of their element. Oh, you know us? You know us? Who are we? I'm like, who are we? Spirit sister. Oh! My reason for going to Chloe and Zoe's party is, you know, give them a second chance. Maybe they aren't what I think they are, and maybe they'll, like, impress me, but we'll... We'll see. I think mean, that's very like inappropriate. They're like in their late twenties throwing alien parties. Like, get the f out of here. So, what are the odds you think you'll have a good time? I would say one out of ten. Like, I just hope this party turns out to be fun or somewhat okay or tolerable. I've been coming here for years, bro. I'm saying good people. <laughs> At the end of the day, you're this tiniest little speck in the universe. Speck in the universe. Speck in the universe. Speck in the universe. A good way to remember that is to go outside and look at the stars and realize how insignificant you are. Insignificant you are. Insignificant you are. Friends are here. It's really exciting that they came to support us. Uh, the party sold out, so I think there's a lot of people downstairs still. But unfortunately, there's not really much that we can, we do. can do. Can I help you? Is this the alien thingy? The what? The alien thing. You guys have tickets or? Um, we're with like Brandy and Chloe. Yeah, who? Brandy and Chloe. Who's that? Exactly. Same. What's your name? Sergio Ferrios. Is it just the three of you? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, so you guys, you're not on the list, but I'm gonna let you in. Okay, okay thanks. Just need your IDs. 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 You know, when you go out to a bar and they yeah, ask you for IDs. Yeah, this was like, yeah, yeah. I need to see IDs, unfortunately. This is so embarrassing. Usually, if you're gonna invite someone, you let them know, yo, this is how it's going down, do this, do that. And I followed every instruction they gave me, but it wasn't very accurate. It's just so f***ed up. I feel like the movie um, Legally Blonde, where they tell her to go to the party as a playmate and nobody's dressed. Mm, it is what it is. Next time. Like, we wasted a lot of time to make an effort to even, like, come to this party. And we're not dressed like aliens, because I'm sure aliens... We don't even know what aliens look like. So aliens, they could, everyone could have been an alien. Haven't you seen Men in Black? Hollywood's a very small town. And when you talk bad about someone behind their back, they're bound to find out. I've had a lot of people in my life kiss my ass to my face. And as soon as I turn around, they're whispering behind my back. I guess some people are so desperate to make it out here, they'll tell people whatever they want to hear or say outrageous things for attention, even if they don't mean it. Those girls of Brandy and Candy, whatever their names are, they, Dude, they literally had this bullshit party. No, they had this bullshit party and then we had a bar. Even there. At a bar. I don't judge people like people think I do. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I like, I could see how you would have a good heart, but then you like do stuff where I'm like, you oh, do. That's so me. You do, but you just put up an exterior for whatever reason. Yeah. For the sake of not being. But if someone didn't know you, I could see how they would think you're like a an bitch. asshole. Yeah. I guess. Growing up, I was very bullied in eighth grade. I was like the first person to shave my legs and people were like, look at that faggot or like whatever they may have said at the time. Like I would just start to make fun of myself. Like I use humor as a way to like escape reality. So I just laugh things off and it's just like normal to me now. 
I'm a people's person. You are a people pleaser. I'm not gonna deny okay, that. Okay, someone get the tissues. <laughs> that was real deep Get it real deep. real deep. So I'm having like my own party creative idea that I'm having, and it's an Eyes Wide Shut themed party. It's inspired by Stanley Kubrick's movie, Eyes Wide Shut. I just want all my special friends to be there, everyone who I support and supports me. Okay, let's get down to business and like start planning out my party because I only want to have like a few guys, maybe like five, 10, and then I want to like get masks and then hand them out. It's definitely something we definitely have to do. a party at this like dope ass place it's in hollywood it's called the blind dragon and it's an eyes wide shut theme party you know the movie eyes wide shut it's so f hot and like um it's like for like i'm launching my like vlog my lifestyle vlog and you have a blog yes <laughs> well i don't communicate with you because you don't call me so last night i went to this party for this girl chloe and zoe or whatever I, chloe and man I, I forgot their name whatever and like they invited me. I think it was a pity invite, like a pity, f but it, I don't know. So then, like literally, like they didn't tell, they didn't disclose any information. They're like, "Come to my party," and I was like, "Okay, I'll come." Yeah, I'll come. I was like, you know, because that's nice of them to. It was nice of them to invite me. So I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go." And then like, a they didn't tell me I was at a bar. Ashley's like 19. She can't be at a bar. Wait, is that why you want to have a party as well? Like you just came up with this magical blog so you can upstage them? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm not like that. But I want to have a better, I just want to be like, I have, I'm having a better party and it's like, mine's going to be chicer, sleeker. It's, it's it, <laughs> Credit card, you got it. <laughs> Good funny. I guess I do need to get, I mean, this is like my job basically, you know, like going to events and like being seen and like keeping relevant. Have you gotten paid for that? I got him paid once to show up to an event. <laughs> once. How long have you been doing this? 10 years. You don't have jobs. You don't have money. You don't have nothing. I have cute clothes. You need to look for Jeff and Jeff. But I'm going to school. How many years are you in? This is my second year. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, you have to understand. I went to biz I went to fashion and design school when I was 18. Okay, so I did that are you actually you? doing something with that? I'm gonna eventually have my own clothing line. Is that working out for you? Okay, it's a slow process. I must agree, but it is working. I promise. It's a work in progress. Promotion on Instagram. He didn't make it to your guys' thing, but he was he got close. He got to the door and then he couldn't get in. Oh, he brought people that didn't have an ID or something. We didn't hear about it. Um, probably a good thing. I had like a, had a couple friends that were at the door too and didn't get let in. So I did dress up. Oh, we did. Did you show the, him not getting in? Uh, yeah. You filmed him not getting in. <laughs> you guys are fucking brutal, dude. <laughs> Do I think I should have invited Chloe and Brandy to my party since they invited me to theirs? Um, no. I'm having this party. It's for my lifestyle brand where I'm going to be selling accessories and eventually I'm going to be selling clothing and stuff. Me and my friends, we like support each other. It's like all business and like friendship and supporting. <gasps> Hey, thanks for coming. Hi. What's your name? Stephanie. You have really big boobs. Oh. <laughs> I keep tallying. I'm like, this person came, this person came, this person came, this person did not come, f her. This person did not come, f her. That's f up. Hey, I haven't seen you in forever. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Ooh, you smell good. Thank you so Hi. much. It's all a game. A lot of my friends are like already like Instagramming like videos and stuff. So it's good publicity because a lot of these girls have like a big following on Instagram, like, you know, 20 plus. So help promote the brand. Do you have a problem being vulnerable, you think? Vulnerable? 
vulnerable. Yeah, I, I believe I do have a problem being vulnerable. I think that everyone, I don't know, the word vulnerable is just so weird to me. I really love LA because I'm from here. So I think a lot of the people that aren't from LA come here with this idea in their mind that's so super glitzy and glamoury and they end up partying too much and wasting all their money and having to go home. I feel like Sergio's young and just trying to find himself maybe a little too judgy. I think his like priorities are a little off. Thank you so much for coming today. Each and every one of you were hand-selected by me to come, because <laughs> you guys complete me. Love you. I used to care about what people said about me so much, but now I don't anymore. I've learned over the years that it doesn't matter what people think about you. What matters most is what you think of yourself. I'm investing all this time and energy, and like my time is precious. It's like at the end, everyone just leaves, and it's like sad. Like dying alone is just so scary to me. We don't die as a group. It's like we die alone, we leave alone, and then that makes me scared. <laughs>